Yeah. Good morning, everyone. It's Eric Ye. It's Kaden. It's David. And I hope everyone is having a great day. We're here at the Korean Air Lounge, uh, waiting to board our flight to Japan. Uh, you know, this time we're going to be headed to uh, Osaka, which is the southern western region of Japan. We've been to Japan a couple times. We stayed in Tokyo last time. We went up to Hokkaido, uh, but we actually have never been to Osaka and the surrounding regions, which is uh, Nara, Kyoto, and uh, Kobe. So hopefully we have a chance to explore some of those regions. Uh, this time we're going to be in Japan for about a week, and uh, we're excited because uh, Osaka is perhaps the food capital of Japan, and we all love Japanese food, especially Kaden, right? Yeah. Uh, but uh, Devin and I also love it as well, and we've seen some good um, uh, food uh, selections. And let's you know get this journey started. Let's See you soon. Chicken with rice, some carrots, and uh, steamed broccoli on the side. Taking a first bite here with the chicken. Right here. It's a little dry. Well, I also got the chicken adobo. But I suppose what's really neat about it is they have some noodle sauce right here and it comes in this tiny little compartment. I poured some over my rice, so let's see how it tastes. Sweet. Sweet. First bite. This is the first bite where I feel like I'm getting a taste of Japan. So part of their sides, they include some uh, sandwich meat, uh, which seems to be turkey uh, with olives and tomato and mushroom on the side uh, with some sort of salad dressing or, or vinaigrette, I would say. Um, doesn't look that appetizing. Not a big fan of deli meat, but let's see how this turns out. Not bad. Unlike the previous dish with the soba. This bite doesn't make you feel like you're going to Japan. This bite makes me feel like you're going to the U.S. Okay. I'm gonna go for the watermelon. See how it goes. Mm. This is a 
watermelon. Doesn't taste like watermelon. It tastes like a melon. Okay, I know watermelon's a melon, but it's not a melon. I'm not a big fan of melons. I think I only like watermelons. Kind of tastes like a watermelon. You could get, you get that um, watermelony like flavor and taste, but most of the taste. Ooh. Okay. A pl a airplane food isn't really good sometimes, but this this is different. It's Japan Airlines. Hashtag not sponsored. Fun treat. There's some croutons. So let's just hear crunch for a second. If there is any crunch. Nope. No crunch at all. Strawberry flavor. That's funny. After about 12 hours on the plane and some broken sleep, we finally arrived here in Japan. We just landed in Kansai Airport uh, in Osaka. And uh, the plan for the rest of the night is to take a train from here uh, to our hotel, which is situated in uh, the Namba district within Osaka. It's a high energy uh, area where there's a lot of good nightlife. But let's see what happens for the rest of the night. Let's go. Everyone, we just uh, finally checked into our hotel here in Namba, Osaka. Uh, it's a long trip for us to come out here. It's been uh, 12 hours, 12 plus hours on the plane and probably another one to two hours traveling on the train. So we're a little bit tired, not so sure we're going to be heading out to uh, explore the streets of Osaka tonight. Uh, but the boys and I are hungry and the first thing that we can think about uh, for some quick and easy food is Lawson's. So, you know, Devin, why don't you tell everybody what Lawson's is all about? Okay, you get 7-Elevens, add a stonks meme, boom, you have Lawson's. So yes, <coughs> Lawson's is an extremely, extremely awesome convenience store uh, that is not available in the US, but it is like uh, what Devin said, it's an upgraded 7-Eleven, has a ton of good food, and so we're gonna go down the aisle and pick our selections and eat at the, at the room. So uh, hang on tight and we'll show you what we get soon. So we just arrived back from Lawson's and uh, they had this really cool shrimp mayo roll. So I decided to get it. So um, it's a roll wrapped in mayo and shrimp with rice and seaweed on the outside. So let's try it. First thing I noticed, there's a lot of mayo in here. It's, it's really, really sweet. Not really that much shrimp in there. Not sure how I feel about that. So I'm gonna take another bite. Mm. That's how that's how we got that shrimp in there. Mm. The mayo really enhances the flavor. It's a really strong taste. Not bad. Pretty good. Okay, so I got 
uh, Katsudon from Lawson's. And look at this. I Look at these worms. I'm just kidding, they're onions. And that also comes with like some egg and is there? No, there's no rice. Just cut to an egg. So here we go. Mmm, really hot. And I could taste some pepper in the pork. And the egg has a nice taste to it because I love eggs. And also, the egg is really creamy. And here's some with some onion. The onion is sweet. Like, I think it's like marinated onion. And some other things. Egg. Mmm. The egg is also sweet. Everything on this dish is sweet. So at Lawson, we picked up this um, soy sauce, soy sauce broth egg. Here you can take a look. And right now, me and Kane are gonna try it. So one, two, three. Mmm. Mm. I think the yolk could be a little softer, but the the um, the egg white or egg brown. Um, uh, it's pretty soft and it has a lot of flavor, more flavor than a regular egg. Mm -hmm. You can't really taste the sweet soy sauce, but it doesn't taste like normal egg. I think it's more like rich than egg, but I still haven't got to my yolk yet. Let's see if this bite does. Mmm, finally. Mmm. There's some sort of creamy in the egg. I'm not sure how. Mmm, this is really good. I add this to my katsudon. I give this rating a mm, 8.5 out of 10. It's decent, but it's not the best, so I'll give it a 7. So I brought back uh, what looks to be like a, a bento box from Lawson's. I think every time I come to Japan, I'm super excited about Lawson's, also Family Mart. Uh, all these high-end, what I consider high-end convenience store stock up some of the best Japanese uh, traditional foods and uh, tasty street food. Here, uh, you know, I have a piece of chicken. Uh, it looks like some tamago on the side and some uh, I think this this might be pork or croquet. I won't know until I take a bite into this and uh, some tempura. And on the side you have some uh, maybe pickled radishes or carrots. And also we have uh, some maybe looks like tuna paste uh, and a seaweed and a bed of rice. So, mm. so I'm gonna continue working on this. Get ready for bed. It's been a long, long day of traveling for all of us. Um, sorry to cut this video a little bit short today, but we're going to get some good rest, start fresh tomorrow. There's a big day ahead of us um, tomorrow with um, checking out the streets of Osaka, walking through and, and seeing what we can find. <clears throat> Again, this is the first time for all of us, so it's a new adventure. We don't know where we're gonna go yet. But we're gonna stroll and um, hopefully you'll be whoops you'll be there to um, enjoy the journey with us so good night and we'll see you tomorrow morning